Hello, I'm Derek Thorsland, Citrix Product Strategist for Multimedia Virtualization. With me once again is Juan Rivera, one of our Development Managers for Project Apollo. So Juan, what are you going to be showing us today? So today, uh, we're going to give our viewers a glimpse of the HDX 3D and HDX Adaptive Orchestration Technology. And this is, uh, in particular, we're going to be talking about the uh, delivery of Aero uh, desktop as well as business applications that use 3D graphics. Okay, great. Well, I just recently blogged about an important component of adaptive orchestration, namely smart rendering. Juan, could you remind our viewers why this technology is so important to delivering a high-definition user experience? So HDX adaptive orchestration uh, combines the server-side and client-side rendering of, uh, of 3D applications, and, and, and the value is that it provides a great user experience as well as optimize the, uh, maximize the use of computing resources. Okay, so I know we've been using this approach before, but what's new about the enhancements to adaptive orchestration you're going to demonstrate to us today? So we've done uh, adaptive orchestration uh, for GDI in the past, uh, but now we're moving it to the, uh, to the 3D world. And this is big because there's a lot of uh, stuff moving to the 3D world, including the Aero Desktop, as well as Windows Presentation Foundation applications that underline use 3D uh, for rendering. Okay, well I can see a lot of benefits to this approach where you send the graphics commands over the wire because you obviously get all the benefits of virtualization. Your apps are in the data center, centrally managed. Your intellectual property also stays in the delivery center, so it's kept safe. But since the graphics rendering is done on the endpoint, uh, I can see the benefits there of offloading the servers and, and thereby getting very high scalability, meaning lots of concurrent users, right? Right. And, and, and you get a high, high definition user experience with this technology, including uh, typical things that you see in the, in the desktop as the uh, aero glass and the flip 3D. And, and the good thing is that you don't need uh, GPUs on the, on the data center. You can deliver this complete user experience by just leveraging the GPU resources of the client endpoints. That's very interesting. That obviously keeps the cost down. I know we've seen Aero delivered before with, with GPUs in the data center, and it's an appropriate technology for high-end graphics. But uh, now, what kind of endpoint are you using here in the demo one? So uh, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, setup. Uh, basically, what we have here is an H HP desktop appliance, an H uh, Quattro device. And this device is running Windows XP Embedded. Um, this device is connected to a Send Desktop uh, server, yeah. which happens to be running uh, Windows Vista. Okay. Um, and you can see how you know we're delivering the, the full you know Aero experience to the client, and we're basically remoting all the graphics commands to the client and using the the client's GPU to do all the three D composition. So I don't need Vista or Windows Seven on the endpoint, and yet I'm getting that experience. Does it have to be a desktop appliance? Could it be a regular PC? It could also be a regular PC if it has a, a, a GPU to do the, the 3D rendering, yes. What about Linux? Oh, well, we're also planning to do Linux in the future as well. Okay, well that's great. All right, well you, you've shown me the Aero experience. Now I'm wondering about applications. As, as you mentioned, a lot of applications are starting to use uh, 3D technologies. How does this help in that regard? So let me uh, show you this application here. This is. Um, financial application and it uses it's a WPF application and it uses 3D for data visualization and as you can see here there's this graphic here that uh, shows some 3D data and as you can see you know I can move it around I mean it's just a, it's a perfect uh, local like experience mm -hmm. even though we're remoting this over the wire through um, you know our HDX technology you're right, it looks perfect. I don't, I don't see any artifacts on the screen as you move the graphics, and it's certainly very, very responsive. Excellent. But now the, the, the very term adaptive orchestration, that suggests to me that there are cases where you don't want to send the graphics commands over the wire, and you'd actually prefer to do rendering back in the data center. So help me understand, where, what are some examples of that? So there's a number of examples. Of, you know, It could be that the application that, that you want to remote it, would remote better if it's rendered on the server. Uh, in other cases, uh, you know, you could be the case where you're running a multiple uh, number of applications on the on the endpoint, and at, at that point, you basically exhaust all the three D resources of, of the GP of the client. And when you launch another application, the, the system detects that the, the client can no longer render more applications, and therefore it relies on the server to do the rendering. 
Okay. So we can actually leverage the server GPU instead of denying the user factors in that other application. Well, that gets very interesting because I, I know that GPU virtualization technology is being developed by the hypervisor and graphics vendors. So I imagine that will bring the cost per user down and make that uh, very viable. All right, Juan, well, let's look into the future again here. Now, imagine I'm a remote worker. I have a Windows 7 desktop being delivered to me with uh, command remoting. And I also need to access a professional graphics application, like a GIS application. How do all these technologies now come together? So in the case of a GIS application, where you probably want to do the rendering on the server, um, I'm going to show you here an example where I have uh, Google Earth. And this application is delivered to my desktop, which happens to be rendered on the client, seamlessly. So you, you, you basically have one application rendered on the server while the whole desktop is actually rendered on the client. But to the user, everything is seamless. So here I have this Google application, and you know you basically see you know it's a great user experience. Um, it's using the server side uh, rend GPU to do the rendering, while it's com while the client is doing all the composition for the desktop. Well, I'm very familiar with that technology because we've been getting some great feedback from the field from our tech preview participants with the Apollo 3D acceleration technology. Juan, everything you've shown me is great. Of course, it's all been on Zen Desktop. And that's fine, but we've got lots of ZenApp customers out there who are probably wondering, is any of this technology relevant to them? So for example, DirectX command remoting, how will that help our ZenApp well, customers? Absolutely. I mean, this technology would also benefit ZenApp customers, in particular if they're running WPF applications, JavaFX applications, where they, those applications can be published and delivered using the same technology. Fantastic. Well, very impressive demo. I'm sure you'll agree. Thanks a lot, Juan. Thank you.